Hello everybody, today we'll be checking out the weekly events and how to do them. So first of all we have the Sky Labyrinth. Of course as always we want to get to the 6th chest here, which is a 5 star selection chest. On the way you'll be also getting 2 of these conch points. So with 6 levels you'll be getting 12 of them. Keep that in mind, that is what we are going to be focusing on in this event. And here in the mysterious chest, it's the same chest as always. So right now I'm only going to be getting the Prophet Orb and Scroll maybe. So that will give me one more conch point. I'll be up to 13 conch points after this. And the only other place you can get them is Wishing Fountain event. So that means if I want to reach 15 here, which is 30 Wishing Coins, I need to do 100 total in this Wishing Fountain event. And since you use 8 Wishing Coins for 10 points, that means I need to use 80 Wishing Coins total for 100 points, and that will get me another 30 back from here. That means I'll be only wasting 50 Wishing Coins and getting 4 Prophet Orbs and 4 Spar Wishing Coins in return, with all the Wishing Fountain rewards as well. So what does that mean? Well, we have the new Wishing Fountain coins here, so you can buy up to 13 of these instead of one Prophet Orb. That means getting back 4 Prophet Orbs from the Wishing Fountain means you can actually get 52 Wishing Coins here. And that is basically all you are wasting to get those back anyway. So that means in my case getting 13 of those conch points naturally and then 2 back from the Wishing Fountain means I am actually buying Prophet Orbs here while doing Wishing Fountain 100 points for free. So that is why I'll be using my Wishing Coins here up to 100 points. And that is how you should like approach this event. If you are gonna get to the next Wishing Fountain and uh, Wishing Fountain points here like 5, 15, 25 you can do uh, either 50 or 100 points here it's very much worth it. More than that it's not really that worth because you'll be using 80 here for 2 orbs that is not really good. But yeah it is a very good point to stop at 50 or 100 as long as you are missing one or two of these. So I guess that's all we have for now, and then we have the Soul Contract and Soul Awakening alone, not really much to talk about there. And yeah, thank you for watching, if you liked the video, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.